Yeah, I have Takarin on uh, the board. It's gonna be Takarin versus none other than Kale. I do believe this is the second participation of Kale in this tournament. It's going very good, man. Just uh, preparing for today's tournament. So as always, everybody knows Takarin, I don't think. This person needs an introduction anymore. If you've seen even one Brojo Cup, I think you've already heard about Takarin, one of, if not the best Axel player in Japan versus Kale, a relatively newcomer, definitely not first participation, but uh, probably around like second or third. Up until now, I don't believe he managed to beat Takarin, but we never know. People tend to play the game even outside of the Brojo Cup. I know it is extremely surprising, but people do play the game and not necessarily during this tournament. And maybe Kale did, and he managed to find some strategies against not only Axel, but Takarin's playstyle. So anyways, let's see how this unfolds. So far, so good, actually. Kale very close to actually getting this first round. He does have the life deficit, but not to the point where it is a completely unsurmountable. But just as I say this, unfortunately, he gets stumped by the cycles, the sickles of Axel. Okay, anyways, here we go with Takarin trying to apply pressure, pushing Kale ever so slightly in the corner, gets the hit with the rainwater, manages to get the anti-air, and look at this BRC combo, unfortunately drops it, but it's still okay. He has the life advantage and the momentum going in his way. He goes for the empty jump. Has Kale right in the corner, uses the purple Roman cancel to make his snail safe and punish Kale's punish attempt. Here we go with the Fudra Dark, a nicely timed right there. Unfortunately, couldn't quite amount to any substantial offense right there. And because of that, Takarin takes the uh, final hit for this first match and manages to take it. Okay, first match goes to Takarin. <laughs> Start of the second match, immediately Takarin just running toward his opponent and grabbing. Here we go with the air zoning from Kale. Goes over the low from Takarin using the Fudra Dark. Manages to push Takarin a little bit in the corner. We go with that very nicely done uh, back step right there from Takarin. Manages to get some momentum a little bit back. He does have a lot. He does have the life elite, so probably going at it very, very smoothly. Doesn't want to overextend. That being said, he is in the corner. We go with the empty low kill on point with the guard. On point with the block gets the opening. Unfortunately, couldn't quite juggle with it. Goes with the grab. He's gonna get the corner pressure some more. Goes with the BRC. Takarin goes with the BRC as well to negate this slowdown effect. Oh, I think he couldn't quite confirm his two hits prior to using the snail right there. He's a little bit shy from using it. That being said, here we go. Almost. This is we're very close to the end of this round. Here we go with the snail using the PRC to get the extension combo and get the kill for this first round of this second match. Anyways, here we go with the Rainwater again and air to air in favor of Takarin gets the uh, counter. It's still momentum in favor of Takarin and Kill just running straight into the normals of Takarin gets hit for it with the stun edge. Oh, a little bit too late on that 2HS entire attempt from Takarin. Ah, here we go, the quick dust. Using some bar to get the extension, he wants that positive bonus. Positive bonus. <laughs> oh, no punish right there on that with 2HS. That being said, Kale should be able oh, to seal the deal, but <gasps> Takarin actually going with the hero burst right there. He does have a life deficit. Oh, good and he got the, oh no. No freaking way, that is so freaking clutch. This is going in the highlight. This is going in the highlight, I call it. <laughs> I call it. Good stuff from Takanin. Always a pleasure seeing him play. Let's see if Kill can actually shift the momentum right there. Everything is going pretty much in favor of Takanin, not gonna lie. Kai truly has some great tools. He does, he does. Takanin, do, like, doing the best with his... Oh, very nice with... Oh, uh, actually, recovery punish right there. From Kill using the Stun Dipper, which has extremely quick uh, startup. Ah. Oh lord, and this time around the Stun Dipper gets baited and punished accordingly with the actual Bomba, Mother Humpa! Okay, here we go with the corner pressure from Takarin, baits the DP a little bit too late on the punish, but still manages to get that grab. Here we go with the Rainwater, and oh, two forts 
too far to get any sort of juggle. Here we go with Kale again with the Stun Nipper. Using the bar to get an extension combo, but not enough to kill. Not nearly enough to kill. Okay, we're back at corner to corner right there from Kill. Extending using the... Oh, the Fujit Dark. And finally gets thrown out of that mad rainwater block pressure right there. Forcing Kill to actually doubt whether or not he should press buttons. Here we go, the stun edge. Ooh, a Fujit Dark going over. This is unfortunate. Stun Dipper never fails. No, it doesn't. <laughs> Anyways, there we go, the grab, nice tech from Takarin again using the aerial rainwater, I guess? Probably not the rainwater, is it? Yeah, I think it's the rainwater, even the aerial version. Ooh, there you go, the Fudra Dark gets grabbed out of the air. There you go, the safe jump, rainwater, manages to get a slight juggle, but not anything really, really substantial. Sickle Storm, no, sir, you cannot zone me when I'm in Sickle Storm mode. Wow, and just run up straight, DP, man. Very nice interruption. From Takarin and this might do oh no just short from that less hit still gets the kill with the MT low very nicely done by Takarin patient CN from China and Darino from of course Korea but living in Japan currently so let's see how this pans out ah uh, that <laughs> that stage is not a good stage but anyways let's see how this pans out oh my lord start of the round immediate Totsugeki Darino-san with the entire very nicely done, neutralizes the aerial approach from CN, a little bit too far to get the follow-up to the, after the 2k does get the juggle right there in the corner, he's gonna get a wall break with a positive bonus. Oh lord, here we go, the entire again, and CN getting open with a hover again with the confirm from Darino-san. He's getting the kill combo, perhaps? A little bit too far, and he gets, oh lord, here we go with the wall. The corner pressure is real. Okay, CN trying to fight his way out. Oh, almost got the juggle, goes for the overhead. Very nice blocks right there from Darusan again with the overhead. Wow, he got the aerial attack. Is he gonna get a... Oh, this is gonna hurt like a mother humper. Okay, here we go. This is definitely... Gotta get the... Yeah, exactly. Oh, here we go. He tried to go for an empty grab. An empty jump into grab, but Daru was on point right there. The grabber got grabbed. Here we go with the Totsugeki, Darino not afraid to pop that stroke right in the middle of a May combo. You gotta get the cojones, man, you gotta have them. Here we go with the corner pressure, he goes for a low, a little bit too far to have it connect. Here we go, CN doing a good job to try to fight his way out of the corner. Got the counter hit, ah, got the entire... Wow, hey, CN actually managing to do some pretty nice stuff, but here we go with Daru san going away. Oh, Lord, uh, this might be the end, nope. Here we go with the CN using the burst a little bit too far to get that standing uh, HK. It's not over here with the uh, bar from CN. He's got bar. He's got bar. If he hits it. Yeah, and here we go with the over for the kill by Daru. Takes the first match. Pretty convincingly not going to uh, lie. Let me check real quick for the, uh, the, the everything. Uh, next one is going to be Ari versus Koki. This is going to be interesting. And here we go with, oh, the burst got baited, and the you all splack tech, you are in the limbo, sir. What are you going to do, CN? Here we go with D, over this time around for the wall splat, and he goes for the, oh, too quick for the megalomania. You hate to see it, you were a little bit too eager. We go with the May pressure, this time around blocks the uh, sultry performance from Darino, but Darino manages to escape the grab attempt from CN and goes for the kill combo after using the RC extension. Very nicely done by Daru. Still, CN actually doing some pretty nice stuff, man. Not gonna lie, here we go with the start of the round counter. His standing HS. Here we go with the oh, Totsuge key. Again, Totsuge key, man. Oh, and that a bar, man. You can see CN not wanting Daru to move too much. No punish right there. But it's okay, with the HS stroke, you cannot punish it unless you just guard it. Oh, Lord! And the side switch from Daru gonna go for a safe jump. No, again with the side switch. He wants to keep CN in the corner. Oh, Lord! Okay. Nice! No, too far to get the grab! Unfortunate from CN. And the second match goes to Daru as well. Good stuff. Okay, let's see how this spins out. Oh lord! Oh lord! Nice, nice burst, Daru. Oh, what the hell was that? That was a very, very interesting. Oh, 
Oh, you can see, yeah. Yeah, Daru fishing for that burst, man. Fishing for that burst. Again, going for the sultry performance. Sien has yet to find a way to neutralize this aerial approach from Daru. Daru going for two strokes in a row, and the schmixes are real. You got to eat it. Safe jump. And wall break. Come and you're getting mixed. Too. Yeah, definitely. I'm always getting mixed, man. Oh, Lord. And that Totsuge key. Totsuge who? And Eno. Daru Eno on match point against CN. Let's see how this spins out. Again, sultry performance. CN having some problems trying to make his way. Gets in tired. Is in Schmixland. Daru bringing CN in the corner. You have to eat the mix. Eat it. It's good for your health. And wall flat. You are in limbo, sir. What are you gonna do? Nice entire from Daru. Manages to keep CN in a very, very drastic position right there. And what is the mix? And here we go with the burst bait from Daru. He takes it with a perfect quick a three to the next battle. Battle RX versus Koshide. Let's see how this spins out. So both players extremely strong with their respective tournament, uh, with their respective characters. La forme says, ah, I got, I got, that's pas super bien. And as you can see, our ex using and rocking that 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 uh, testament. Oh, very, very nice interrupt using the 2K from from testament gets the arbiter sign. Unfortunately, gets hit by Kohide, who goes for the kickflip <laughs> and the side switch. Gonna get the wall break? Nope. But he still has our ex in the corner, exactly where he wants him. Here we go, Kohide is in stain state. If he gets it, unfortunately, he didn't. He would have suffered a juggle additional hit. Here we go, the Arbiter. Nope. Oh, Lord. Oh, okay. oh very nice grab right there from Ari. That was sick. Who is he going to get the... Oh, Lord. He's going to get a kill. Yes, he did. Damn, that was last second damage, which was just enough for Ari to actually uh, squeeze it. The win out of this one. Okay, here we go with the tick pressure from Kohide. Goes for the grab. Okay, you can see Rx really wanting to wanting out of the corner, but Kohide not giving it to him, obviously. And again with Kohide and that take pressure using the very, very quick dash from Giovanna to, you know, do ins and outs, if I might say. Yeah, both players are going absolutely ham, exactly, oopla, and here we go, the, uh, what's called, the, um, the cannon drill. And Rx going for the, oh lord, that schmix. Either using the uh, jumping HS into the jumping D into the uh, aerial arbiter sign or the jumping HS into low, grounded low for an additional mix up. Ah, and the tick pressure again from Kohido is gonna get the kill using the extension from the grab into Ventania. This is gonna kill. Good stuff. Good first round from, well, first match from Kohido. Let's see how this pans out. Good lord. Okay, good stuff. Good stuff. Second match ongoing currently. And the tick pressure again from Kogida. You can see RX still a little bit shy from pressing buttons. Does find the opening with the uh, D6P. Gets, oh lord, and even gets the bait punish from Kogida. Kogida who absolutely loves to get the golden burst you have to be really careful when you play against kohide you need to bait that golden burst because he will absolutely he will absolutely just let it rip right in the middle of your offense and here we go the stain state and kohide popping the overdrive this is gonna do a lot of damage by the way ah and the 2s counter and man you hate to see it arc still not oh gets the oh last second Confirms right there into the RC for the side switch and eventually the kill combo for that first round. Very nicely the Marx. Start of the round again. Kohide with the take pressure, man. You hate to see it. Oh lord, that 6P man. The 6P, the 6P of Testament. I can feel the pain from that counter hit across the screen through the screen, man. Oh, and here we go, the side switch from RX. That is just too good. Oh, and that back dash from Kohide manages to again get the side switch. With the newly found combos from Giovanna from Dispatch. Nice damage right here from our, from uh, Kohide. Wow, I found Z2, the counter. This is gonna be death. Good stuff from Kohide. That's still, it's, it can go anyways, man. 
Uh, yeah, first probably Arx needs to find something against that tick pressure, man. Oh lord! Very nice backdash. Oh no, but still... Kohide, man, not staying on one place. Wow! So when he gets the hit using the teleport, couldn't quite get the juggle though from the crow, but it's still okay. Oh lord! Oh lord! And here we go with the Nostravia. He's gonna get the stain state. What is gonna be the mix? Is Kohide gonna wake up super? No, he's not. Luckily for our eggs. Ah, still finds the opening using the uh, the standing S into counter hit. Okay, it's not gonna... It is gonna kill! Holy freaking lord, that damage output is so crazy, man. Just like this, it brings it back, man. I mean, he was, he was supposedly going to lose that, that particular match, but he still managed to find the, yeah, the, the momentum shift and bring it back. That was crazy! Anyways, here we go with the start of the third round, the third match. Arx needs to find something, or else... Yeah, Koi is definitely gonna... A little bit too much for him. Here we go, the wall break. Oh, Lord! <laughs> exactly, that's me. <laughs> that's my signature, yeah. <laughs> oh, Lord! <laughs> here we go, the juggle. Oh, a little bit too far to get that wall break. No, but you can see Koi going with the extension using... Uh, the standing quick dust into the RC for the kill. Okie dokie, on to potentially set point right here. RX being a little bit more active. That being said, gets scooped by that 4HS counter hit. And here we go back in the corner for you into the Ventania. Oh. Okay, potentially final, uh, final step of that match. He's got the burst. RX is completely nude right now. He doesn't have any resource. Ah, what is he gonna do? The pressure is... Oh, no! He gets scooped by the 2D counter hit yet again. And a clean... Oh, win! The third match of tonight. Suzura versus Zyge. Let's see how this pans out. It's start of the round. Immediate bat Fukio into the Beyblade. You hate to see it happen. Suzura does find that particular window just to activate that. Oh, Lord! Good lord! Oh, that hurts so much. <laughs> Here we go with Suzuna using uh, his entire full attention bar to deal as much damage to Zeej as possible. That being said, we go with Zeej going completely am with the Fukio. Does find the opening though with a badly time overhead from Suzuna. Gets scooped by the grab into the wall. That being said, this could really go either way, I'm not gonna lie. Ooh, nice with punish from Suzuna. Gets up for S. Throws DM. Throws them sword and this should be death. Oh no, it's not! It's not! Suzuna, you lied! Oh, you lied! No, he tried to get the grab! But Suzuna actually went the other way. Unfortunate. That was crazy, man. It was very good. Uh, oh lord! Very good. Suzuna with the combo and with the, the corner pressure, man. Is he trying to get the hell out of here using uh, the clone to push Suzuna out of uh, the corner? Okay, and back with the standing S. Very nice XP right there from Suzuna. Couldn't quite get the entire though because Zeej hadn't committed to any offense. We go to Forest. HS, I'm sorry. Woo! Tried to go for the entire, but Suzuna was out of range. Oh, Lord! And yet again with the Abari Superman. Uh, this might kill, man. Be careful. Oh, you're going to YRC? I'm going to YRC your world! Open! Oh, here we go with Zeej stealing the girl! <laughs> Good stuff from Zeej, man. Brings it back! Here we go with the entire against the juggle, man. Zeej on point goes with the double Fukio and into the corner pressure. Finally gets that bite, man, but bite your world! No! No! Two freaking grabs in a row, completely whipped! Oh, no! And what is Zeej doing? Completely going Fukio, man. Fukio man, man, the Doomer pressure, the Doomer pressure from Zeej is out of this world and Zeej actually manages to steal, man, steal that first match completely out of nowhere, good stuff, thank you very much, you Skotone and welcome to the Brojo, that was crazy, man, oh lord, okay, here we go, finally, Suzuna trying to wake up a little bit, yes, it with the 6p counter hit, but that being said, uses his burst to try to keep Zeej in the corner, but Zeej says, to hell with that, I'm not staying in the corner, but gets put in the corner. 
<laughs> oh lord, is it gonna hit? Good boom, yes it is! <laughs> good lord, Zeus not afraid now. Again with the 4 H says good stuff. He's gonna get the opening with that DLA DP into the follow-up for the kill. A uh, good uh, stuff. Okay, on with the rest. For S, no one's home. No entire well, entire but Suzura didn't commit to any aerial attack. Gets good. Uh, you can tell again trying to backdash, but Suzura just noticing that Zeej likes to backdash a lot in the corner and just just throws her just throws their, their sword to catch that backdash. Good stuff though from Zeej. Gonna get the wall break, but Suzula does have two more tension. And you know that Suzula loves to pop that that overdrive right in Blast Strings. And then you know, just as I say this, <laughs> just as I say this, just as I say this, Suzula just pops the, the overdrive. I know him, I know this man. I've been commentating his 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 uh, match for so long now, I absolutely know how Suzula works, man. And here we go, Suzula in the corner, pressure, gonna get that wall break. I called it, man. I called it. <laughs> Here we go with the safe jump. Ah, I'm gonna push Zeej in the corner. Zeej is in dire straight, not gonna lie. But Zeej holding on to his dear life. And Suzura, oh lord, the blocks on Zeej, man. Lord, and the power, he finds the opening. And the bite. Okay, guys, it's not over. We got the gold first, but couldn't punish it correctly. And here we go. Here we go. Zeej not out. 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 Too far to get the... No, that was so bad, no! Oh no, not like this, you had everything! You had it all! You had it all! You had it all, Zeej, you had it! No! He got pushed out of the, the, the range of his, um, of his quick dust because of the, uh, the faultless defense from Suzura, man. That's why you should always put faultless defense, man, when your opponent is about to use quick dust. So you push him out of range to get hit by it. Obviously, if he does it a little bit early, then you won't have the time to do it. But if he, like, links, like, two normals, he cannot quick dust your ass right after. So keep that in mind. If you suspect your opponent's about to, to dust your ass, just freaking use FD. Anyways, here we go with the forest counter hit for uh, the follow-up for the kill. Good stuff from Suzura gets the, uh, the, the first round of this. Oh, Lord! Good Lord! Look at Zeej is going out! Look what the hell! What the hell was that? What the hell was that? Zeej is going completely crazy! Zeej of the craze! What is this man doing? <laughs> Zeej is going completely crazy, man! What was that? Oh no! Oh no, she's around! No, she's around! And still gets hit by the aerial overhead, man! Zeej, you need to recognize this man! Oh, Lord India Bar for Zeej for the kill! Zeej is going completely out! Completely crazy! <laughs> Look at this man! Look at him! Boo this man! <laughs> now, to be fair, that, that, that is pretty entertaining, I'm not gonna lie. And playing against Nagoriyuki is not always very fun, but I've gotta say that seeing Nagoriyuki play is actually pretty freaking fun. It is. It is. Commentating like Nagoriyuki matches is really fun. And here we go with the corner pressure. This time around, Suzura goes for the quick dust. Zeej not in time for the response. That being said, we only need one hit. And again, oh lord! Two it just counter hit! Oh no, too far to get the conversion and gets hit by the, the, the 4S. Right after getting staggered from the sword throw. This is unfortunate, but it's still okay. Okay, okay, okay. Here we go, it's still not over till it's over. We are potentially on set match right now, not sure. We shall see. It all depends on Zeej and that hero 6P right now. Careful! Suzura has two bars of overdrive. You hate to see it. Here we go with the Mortabaz. I forgot how it's called. But anyways, the overdrive. The non-cool one. Ah, uh, then you're going to take Rekka, man. Oh, and Zeej popping the wire. See, afraid. You can see Zeej was afraid. <laughs> he was afraid of Suzura. <laughs> you think the overdrive in his block string. Careful! 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 Okay, here we go. <laughs> Suzula loves to pop that overdrive and block string. You need to be careful. Here we go, the 6P. Oh, Lord, and that bag dashes. The bag dashes is real. No entire yet again. Unfortunate. Ah, good Lord. Motorboat. Exactly. Motorboat. Okay, here we go. Close pressure from Zage. Finds the opening with the clone. Couldn't quite get the follow-up, though. He does get the juggle. 
Gonna get the wall break. Ooh, pop that. Oh, goes for the quake overhead, but is it always on port? No, oh, no. On the grab, no. No, ZG got popped. He got pooped. Oh, and again with the grab and just like this is that I gonna send Zeech to the loser's bracket. Good stuff. Gonna be none other than Akira versus Koshide. Let's go. So, uh, Akira extremely strong Nagoriyuki player. Versus Koshide extremely strong. Uh, well, you already know Koshide. But Akira, uh, we don't really hear about him, but he is an active uh, tournament player. Extremely strong one. He... Uh, I, I had the pleasure to play him, uh, and he did beat the likes of very strong players like uh, Summit, like Darino, by the way, uh, like uh, very other very prominent uh, players. So definitely a strong Nagoriyuki player. Let's see how he fares this time around in this tournament. Probably was wary of the wake up Nasante right there. You know, ZJ is cussing me, Rammer. Oh, definitely. Oh, for sure, for sure, for sure. And here we go with the OTG kill for Akila. Very nicely done. And that's 6p, man. Koide always on point with the entires. Nice back there, though, from Akira trying to get out of the pressure. And here we go with the cannon drill. Ooh, load. Oh, good lord. Now yeah, that tick pressure is for real, man. You have to hold it. 6p for days. And Koide finds the opening. Immediately, Nasante is gonna get that hard knockdown. Let's see what's the mix. Oh, and just a regular 2s. Damn, Koide takes it with a perfect man. That statement was uh, pretty good. <clears throat> oh, Kidoki breads and cookie. Here we go with oh the attempted grab. Unfortunately, Koide was definitely on point right there. Managed to just uh, backdash out of it. Here we go with the OTG. Oh, good lord! And here we go with the grab by Koide gets the side switch, puts Akira back in the corner. Uses the Nasante man. That Nasante to hit. To hit Akira out of the air, gonna get the wall break. Akira's life is ending by a thread, and he goes for the kickflip for the kill. Good stuff from Goida takes the first match very convincingly, not gonna lie. Not going to lie, I hate lying. Okay, what is going to be that second match? Goida pops the burst at a very nice moment and actually manages to keep Akira in the corner. Here we go with that bag dash. Koide catches the bag dash from Akira using the 2S. Well, delaying the 2S and then, you know, just, just hitting him on his recovery frames from the bag dash. Again with the uh, Ventania right there for the oh, wall break. Oh, good lord. The bar is real with Akira. Finds the opening. Oh, no, no, a little bit. I don't know what Akira wanted to do there. But definitely that was an uh, execution problem. He probably input it uh, a little bit too early, I guess. Whatever he tried to do. I think he went for grab. He would have gotten the bite also. This is unfortunate. No, oh, nice 6p right there from Akira. Finds the opening again with the 6p counter hit. Confirm into the DP. Here we go with the save jump. Catches the back dash from Goide. Uses immediately the Wasude Yuki for the wall break. Yeah! Get out of here! Here we go, the wall break. Uh, save jump again. Doesn't catch anybody though. Koide does find the opening with the standing S counter hit. Goes for the tick throw. One probably wanted to catch a bad bad and punishes the punt, the air, the entire punish hit them from Akira using uh, the. Uh, what's it called the um? Oh, wait, Akira not popping the burst. This is ah, but he was. Oh yeah, Akira actually dying with his burst. This is unfortunate. Okay, let's see. This is really unfortunate. But probably yeah, it was a very hard sequence to burst right here actually. So he probably didn't have any chance to do so. And here we go. Nice start of the round with Akihira. Ah, forces the burst of Kohide. Uses the Beyblade to uh, catch the back dash of Kohide. Ah. You hate to see it. Okay, Akira also forced to pop the burst. Goes for the side switch. Pushes Koide in the corner. Goes for the BRC. Is it gonna be safe? No, it's not. Oh, Akira tried to go for something so cool, but Kohide, man. Oh, and that was a that was an unfortunately timed meaty right there. Koide getting grabbed on his immediate attempt. And here we go, potentially. Oh, Lord. Very nice, Beyblade. Gonna get the corner carry. 
Oh, and Koide waking up for the gold burst. Oh, very nice blocks right there from Akira. Ah, uh, Akira, you could see, try to go for an area right there to catch a pointer from Koide. But Koide, man, a little bit too quick on uh, that one. Akira, oh, goes for the same jump. It should be safe. Oh, nice. Counters the uh, Ventania attempt from Kohide using his very own overdrive. It's not going to kill. Goes for a safe jump and gets the kill. Good stuff from Akira. Finally puts one on the board. Good stuff, good stuff. Akira not out of it. So let's see if Akira can ma manage to bring it all back. Oh, here we go. That's better. <laughs> I really a lot of dumb stuff. <laughs> Sending directives to the to the to the players. I did. I did a lot of lot of dumb stuff. Anyways, we're going to Wasuda Yuki from Akihira. Gonna get the oh hard knockdown. Oh, and gets the kill right there with the Beyblade followed by the underground. Very nicely done by Akira. We did. Oh, air to air in favor of Akira. Gets the juggle. So here we go. Damn, Akira definitely waking up right now. See how this pans out. Oh, it goes with the double Fukio. Oh! And Kobe did the tick throw, man. Ah, very nice 6 speed from Akira. Gonna get that side switch too, man. Is he gonna go for Rasuriki? No. Keeps his bar for more bar stuff. Ah, lord. Here we go with Kohide's pressure forces Akira to pop the burst. Too far to hit. Too soft to live. <laughs> Sorry, that's a Final Fantasy reference. Oh, Lord Puente, man. Goes over the 6P attempt from Akira. Oh, nice. Ah, but yeah. Ah, Kohide gets the kill with the OTG of his own. <clears throat> okay, let's see how this spins out. Uh, a little bit too many, one too many Fukios right there. Finds the opening though. Oh, and that air grab from Akira. But Akira is, might pop right now. No, he's not. Okay, very nice backdash right there from Akira. And Kohite going ham with the just defense, man. That was crazy. Here we go with the far chest. Catches Kohite. 6p for the entire. Too far to get anything, but still gets the game with the standing P. Akihira bringing it back. We have a match, ladies and gentlemen, two to two. What is Koide gonna do? Good lord. What is Koide gonna do? Good lord. Here we go with the ah, the red cap pressure from Akihira. No entire red there from Koide, but that is because. Akira had already committed to his 2S, which has added recovery in this patch. Go the BRC catches the back there from Kohide. Ah, you can see Akira trying to fish for the overdrive from Kohide. Catches the back dash using the Beyblade. Gonna get the wall break. No wall break. Goes for the safe jump. No entire. And Kohide should manage to. Ah, uh, yep. He's gonna take this one. Very nicely done. Here we go. This is a set point. Is Akira gonna be able to bring it back? Goes for the 2k. Ooh! Very nice Beyblade. Ah, gets a grab. Here we go with the stomp. Oh, too far to catch. Koide, but it's okay. Oh, Lord, and then Asante, man. The coolness on this man. Ah, oh, gets the 2d counter it. What was that? That was definitely an error. But very nice attack right there from Akira. Oh, gets the side switch. This is the worst thing that could happen for Kohide. Ooh, and the gold burst has been baited! Ah, uh, this is this gonna kill it is! It is! Oh good lord! Match point final round of the final match of this! Oh, who is gonna take it? This is set point! Whoever takes it, yeah, it goes to the winner's final! Nice sick throw from Kohide! Oh lord, what was that? That definitely caught a tech attempt right there from Akihira. Oh sick from Kohide. It's the Nasante, no, the Nasante, the Ventania. Badly timed, meaty. You hit to see it's not over till it's over. Gets the grab. Gets the grab. Oh. Oh, no, trying to get for the bite. Oh, no. That was sick. 
It's very nicely done by Kohina. Takes it by the skin of it. Very much for the follows. Much appreciated. Kurichev and much appreciated. Ken Wostis. And welcome to the bro, Joes. That being said, here we go. It's Suzuna versus Daru Ino. This is the semi finals. The winners semi final. And Suzuna found the opening already. Okay, gets the side switch, gets the 4S counter. This is going to do a lot of damage. What is uh, Darino gonna do? We go with, oh my good lord, this did a ton of damage and the save jump. And just like this, this is actually gonna take it over Darino on the first round. Good stuff from Tuzura. Let's see how Darino is going to answer. First round for Darino. Very nice HCL. Oh, and Tyrus Suzuna very nicely done, and again with, oh. Ah, again with the 6P, man, the entire of Darina have been on point. Here we go with, oh, the freaking, that was sick. That was sick. How are you supposed to do anything? I'm, I'm, I'm stealing this tech. I am stealing this. I am definitely stealing this tech. That was sick. Using the high jump and then doing, uh, jumping P into... Jumping H, uh, H, HS to time your, uh, while you do this, you time the, your, your, the, your, uh, what's called, your landing, and then you do the, uh, the, uh, what's called, the, um, I forgot the name, the Megalomania. That is sick, actually, I'm gonna steal this. Definitely stealing this. Here we go with the wall pressure from Dowry, no gonna get the 40 CMO for the hard knockdown, and Suzura forced to pop the burst if he wants to stay alive. Too soft to live. And just like this, Darino takes the first match. That went extremely strong, man. Extremely quick. <laughs> Suzuna was uh, started very, very nicely. Taking the first round extremely quickly as well. Oh, Lord. Two HS a little bit too far to do it. But it's still okay. Still keeps the momentum. No, sirree. You are going to eat my sultry performance right now. Again with the sultry, man. Darino on point with the sultry performance. Definitely hitting his opponent when the opponent is not expecting it at all. Here we go, the save jump. Good with the schmixes. That was crazy good. Good stuff from Darino already up. One round, one match. What is Suzuna going to do? Gives the 4S a little bit too far to get the follow-up. That being said, here we go. Suzuna find it. Oh, gets, get freaking grabbed because Suzuna got... Yeah, the, with the just defend was crazy. Mad good from Darino again. <laughs> with the stroke, man. You cannot get out of this corner. I refuse. Ah, I tried to bait the burst. Oh, Suzuna has two bars of tension. Be careful with Mash. Oh, here we go. Very nicely done. And Suzuna just running straight to Dari. Gets hit by the hover. Jumping HS. And just like this, man. Darino, man. Darino on points. 2-0 to zero against Suzuna. Not over till it's over, though. Uh, and the stroke goes uh, underneath the standing cave from Suzura. Suzura trining. The, yeah, the thing that's really messing up with Suzura right now is probably Darino using sultry performance. It's very, very hard to read uh, timings. Okay, here we go with uh, the Megalomania once again, man. Good lord, Darino. Bye bye. <laughs> Good stuff from Darino. Takes it with the perfect. We are on set point. That went so freaking quick. Okay, it's not over till it's over. Ah, oh, nice punish right there from Tuzu from from Daru. I'm gonna go for that. Oh lord, she can even get away away with this. Yes, she can, and he will. He will absolutely he will. And here with the take pressure, man. The corner pressure is real. What is Suzu not gonna do? Gets hit by the HCL. Oh, Daru almost got the bait on the. Oh lord, is this gonna kill? Ah, uh, not over, not over. Far, far, very nice. Okay, Zura not out of it yet. Let's see how this spins out. Zura gonna go for a safe jump. Ah, no, but he can. Oh no! That was sick. Good stuff from Darino. Take the battle, battle. Hagiara versus Age. Soon, my hombre. Exactly soon. Okay, let's see how this spins out. So, just as I said. Zeej absolutely hates the Jacko matchup. He hates any match that involves zoning. And yes, um, this is a, a matchup that's not necessarily in favor of uh, Nagori Yuki, if you ask me. That being said, here we go with Zeej, finds the opening using the clone. Gonna put Hagiara in the corner. Gets the bait on the grab. 
No kill, no entire on the minions as binions. It's unfortunate. And you're going to grab from Zeej and manages to get that first match quite convincingly, not gonna lie. What was the big... What was the... What was the... What, why was he scared? I'm gonna get some water, guys. We'll be right back. And Zeej manages to take the first match. Why? What is what? What was the big uh? Why? Why? Why, why were you so unconfident, man? Have more self-confidence. You took the first match. Come on, you can do it. Yeah. That being said, here we go with the zoning play of Hagiara as the gets the hit with the two HS counter hit. Okay, anyways, here we go. The corner pressure. You hate to see it. What are you gonna do, Zaid? Ah, gets opened up with the grab. And Zaid back in the corner again. Oh, very nice take, though. But is going to get hit. Yeah, this is gonna kill. Yes, here we go with Hagiara using the Elysian drop back for the kill. Good stuff from uh, Zaid. Uh, but not from Zaid, from Hagiara. <laughs> okay, so he's down just one round. It's definitely doable. But here we go with yeah, Hagiara getting the counter hit with using the uh, standing before it's a uh, HS. Get a corner. Pressure is real. Very nice entire right there from Hagiara. Very nice grab right there from Zeej. Manages to get even a bite. Oh lord, that 2S counter hit. He definitely wanted that burst. But yeah, Hagiara not giving it to him. Here we go to take pressure, man. What is going to happen? Ah, I guess it went to four chest. What is Hagiara gonna do? Oh lord! Oh no! He got scooped by the two D. Yeah, to see, it's not over. Ah, don't go bar too much. And finally, Z brings it back with the four chest, man. Thank you very much for the follow, Dread Wolf, and welcome to the bro, Joe. Can you wait? Oh, again with the spot, the four chest, man. This has been the bane of Z, man. The Bane of Z's again with the 2D for the punish on the third hit of the Rekka. Very nice character knowledge right there from Agyara. And she's going with the two double Fukyo. Trying to go with the grab, but no! No, Agyara was on point right there with the just defend using the uh, FD to be sure to push Z out of range. Far chest. Ah, too far for the Beyblade, but still gets a follow up to S. Counter it! No entire. For the for the pesky little woo! Oh no, that was unfortunate. Oh, nice a bar right there, two K two D from Hagiala, trying to get that corner. Gary, that being said, doesn't have any minions. Oh, gets the oh, gets the bait, the bait on the grab. That shimmy man, that was crazy. And here we go, the Elysian. This is gonna do a lot of the kill. This is gonna kill, actually. Yeah, this is gonna get the kill. The reason being that. Uh, right now in the current patch, basically Nagori Yuki, uh, the more blood he has accumulated and the less guts that he has, that means that he takes more damage. So basically if he doesn't have a lot of blood accumulated, he has huge guts. But the more he gets blood and the higher his blood level and the lower his defense is basically. So yeah, that's the reason why it killed. If uh, I do believe that if uh, Nagori Yuki was on level one of blood. He wouldn't have died from 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 this uh, this this sequence, I think. But don't quote me on this. I absolutely I'm, I'm I have rubbish character knowledge and system knowledge overall. So <laughs> don't trust me. <laughs> and I'm commentating. <laughs> anyway, here we go with the grab from Hagiara. Going to get that kill again with the grab. Hagiara has definitely. Ah, speaking of which, I didn't update the uh yeah the the leaderboard. Uh, one match apiece. Uh, again, here we go with the corner. Pressure again, and Zeej getting open. Very nice tag from Zeej, man. Not gonna lie. That was sick. Ah, the corner pressure. You hate to see it. What are you supposed to do? And Zeej gets open again with the 2D. And it's back to zero. What are you supposed to do? Oh, very nice forest. Finally gets the opening. 
Uh uh. No one home. Oh, that jump out though. And oh, I got almost got the burst bait right there. Uh 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 uh. Yeah, Zedra only has one chance. One more chance. If you lose. Yeah, ah, uh, you're dead. Yeah, nice OTG right there from Agara. Gets the second match as well. Zeej is in dire straits. What is gonna happen? What is Zeej gonna do? It is not over till it's over though. Okay, and here we go to corner carry, and Zeej still gets grabbed. Very nice grab for Zeej though. Oh, again with the bite. It's not over. Again with the bite. Oh lord, he got the follow-up DP again with the bite. He's gonna get the kill. That was so freaking fast. Good stuff from Z. Finally, man. Finally, finally. Waking up. And ah, this time around the grabber gets grabbed. Okay, finally Z forced to pop the burst. Pushes Hagera out of his way. For just to get rid of Dominion and hit Jackwood at the same time. Yeah, Zeech has a lot of blood right now, so he cannot afford to use specials. When he gets the hit, again with the hit. Oh no, he gets the hit yet again! Here we go, immediately resource using Wasuri Yuki. Good stuff from Zeech, gonna get the wall break and the knockdown. Good lord! It's not over, Z wants to go as slowly as possible. Oh, get scooped though, this is unfortunate. Again with the scoop. Wow! Oh, very nice grip. Oh no, that tech though. Oh, too far for the 2S. Oh, okay, here we go. Yeah. Here we go with the Beyblade. He goes for the quick dust, but oh my lord! I, was, I really thought that Hagiara was going to block everything in their mother, man. That was crazy. Good stuff from Zeej. Finally puts one on the board as well. We have we have a match. Let's see if Zeej can keep it up. If he can finally beat his demon. Good lord, look at the pressure and that shimmy, man. Zeej, once again, it's open. Nice for us. Ah, here we go, the clone. Kamaite. Oh, lord. And Kamaite, no. Oh. oh, very nice 6P. Ah, oh, too far to get the kid, the hit though. Again, Z trying to find the opening, but yeah, Hagara being extremely nimble. Very hard to keep at one spot. Nice shake from Hagara. Catches the second Fukio attempt from Z. Wow, that, that standing H just gets rid of both minions at once. And Z probably looking for the burst, but Hagara not giving it to him. Here we go, the tick pressure, and the jump out from Hagara. This is gonna be, yeah, that's gonna be enough good stuff. Oh, no, actually not. I lied. I thought it was gonna kill him. Okay, it's not over. Zeech can make a comeback, but gets scooped by the minion football. The minion soccer ball. Okay, set point. Let's see if Hagara can seal the deal, or if uh, Zeech can bring it back. We shall see. Damn, that just defends, man. Oh lord! Any wriggle with the grab? Damn, the just defense from these people, man. Okay, here we go again, man, with Hagala. Getting the corner pressure. Oh no! One second too late. No entire on the minion. Ah, oh, very nice. Far chest from Zage. Again, gets the knockdown. And the grab, man. That BRC grab for the kill. Good stuff. Okay, we're on final final round of final match. Let's see how this pans out. The double Fukio, man. That was sick. And the 2D again for the punish. Okay, Veo. Oh, the close slash, man. Gets the entire. Not over. Not over. Oh, no. Then the Beyblade. The OTD. Oh, it gets it to bad damage. It actually manages. To eliminate Ayala, that was sick! It went Let's see how this pans out. Our ex uh, using testament sometimes has the tendency to use uh, chip against Takarin specifically because he knows that Takarin hates the chip matchup. But uh, after using testament against Takarin, Takarin uh, 
uh, after using a testament against uh, Takarin, yes, Arix found out that actually his testament is way more efficient at uh, dealing with Takarin's axle than uh, his chip. So, this is the reason why Rx doesn't use chip anymore against Takarin. With that being said, uh, yeah, Takarin, uh, Rx definitely take a lot of damage right there, try to beat the burst. Gets the stained state. Uh, gets the stained state. Double lateral arbiter for the pressure. Oh lord, and that drop. Oh, he got the shame. He even got the side switch. Is this gonna kill? This is definitely gonna kill. Good lord, look at the damage. Good lord, Axel Bomber City. Good stuff from Takani. Gets the kill. Let's see if RX can bring it back and that closest counter hit for the damage. Look at this. 40% out of air. Booty booty, booty booty. Anyways, we go with the far S, man. Counter hit this did a lot of. Oh, again with the Arbiter, man. Trying to zone that axle, man. Here we go with the 2 HS from Takarin. Trying to keep Arx on his toes. Ah, yeah. Ah, Takarin needs to hold it. Ooh, goes for the 2 HS. In the block string, in the uh, yeah, the block strings uh, of RX and Takarin with the grab attempt, but very nice freaking uh, oh lord, wow, that was crazy. Ooh, again with the tech man. So he could have taken it if he recognized that he hit. Ah, and he gets a kill with the jumping back. Yes, I believe it is. First match goes to Takarin. Let's see how this pans out. Yeah, who sent Takarin the loser? Akira sent Takarin to lose. Damn, okay. That's surprising. Anyways, here we go with RX. Almost got the entire raid there, but gets jumped on by Takarin. Takarin again with the jump pack. Yes! Wow, that teleport is so ambiguous, so hard to see. RX is going low this time around. Uh, is he gonna get the juggle? No, goes for the resets. And here we go, right after the wall break. Takarin getting their lens and Geki. Trying to keep Arx out. Oh no! Arx trying to hit that Arbiter man to hit Takarin out of his uh, lens and Geki. And here we go with. Oh, there's a little bit of lag. Surprisingly so. Again, anyways, here we go. The jump in from Takarin. Ooh, gets scooped by the jumping HS from Arx. Which catches his back dash. Oh, Lord, and that air grab that was sick from Arx. It's not over. Here we go with the stain state. Oh, Lord, again with the booty booty. <laughs> it's a gravely. Oh, and the grab. Oh, he tried to go for the quick dust, but it's okay. He's got the walls flat, which gave him the kill. Okay, Arx still needs one more at least in order to get that point again man with oh lord and that pressure is real the in the fridge press button ah afraid to press button goes for the reset okay back to neutral ah the gun is out of the corner you hate to see it wow again with the arbiter man Oh, and he goes for the teleport. He's gonna catch the back dash. Takarin on his last legs. Hopefully, he needs to get something going. Oh, Arbiter a little bit too far. Yes, the 6P and the juggle for the kill. That was sick. RX brings it back, puts one on the board. We have a match, ladies and gentlemen. One match apiece. So, on to the second match. Let's see how this spins out. Arbiter whips, gets it by the follow up of the Lensing again. Very nice to get to D right there. Gonna get the knockdown, goes for an empty grab. Ah, and it lags again. What the hell? And here we go with the stained. Stayed, gonna get the wall break. <laughs> Yo, Lapriz, how you doing, man? And here we go with the Lensing. He gonna get the knockdown, but a little bit too far to get anything really going. Go with the jump back from Takarin. Back in the neutral. Oh, Lord, and that's standing P, man. Uh, so he's harassing RX. RX using his own tension bar to make his landing safe. 
with the recorder. That was an unfortunate RC. Thankfully for him, he didn't get punished. Oh, Lord, and Takani popping that burst. He wants that round. He wants it so bad. Oh, that 6P. Oh. Oh, and that forest for the kill. Good stuff from RX. Takes that round, man, by the skin of his teeth. Oh, no. Badly timed it there. Anyways, we're going to 2HS right there from Takani. Got rainwater in the one home. But impossible to freaking punish from this distance. Oh, here we go with the rainwater again. Forces RX to pop the burst, but here we go with RX and the Arbiter zoning. Good lord. Good lord. And that forest, man, counter it. That freaking. Oh, lord. He goes for the empty grab, but this time around, Takani was on point. I smell the Arbiter. Arbiter. Oh, no. No, the juggle no. Oh, and he's got the far. And he's gonna get the kill. Yes, he does. Damn, RX on freaking fire. Actually taking the lead two to one. Is he gonna eliminate Takani, man? That would be crazy. Okay, RX definitely on point. Here we go. Oh, Lord. I'll get hit by the rainwater. The rainwater. Anyways, here we go. Oh, no. Oh, no entire. Oh, here we go. The six speed good stuff by RX. Here we go, the corner pressure again. Oh, look, gets jumped on and Tucker invaded the bird. That was a nice burst, Arx. Oh, and there you go, Forrest. Oh, Karasuku, no one's home. Oh, nice. That freaking jumping combo is sick. There you go, the crow. Karasuku, save us. Oh, here we go, Karasuku again. Karasuku winning the bread. Good stuff. RX is on set point. This is crazy. On to set point. What is Takarin gonna do? That would be a first, man. Like, Takarin not in the top three. That would be a first in a long, long time. Oh, Lord. And RX going completely M. God, the entire. He wants that burst. He wants that burst so freaking much. He wants that burst so much. Oh, he could have gotten the stain. The, the follow up of the stain right there if he did entire correctly. Okay, and here we go. Oh, Takani wanting to. Yeah, he wants that shimmy, man. Oh, okay, here we go to Forest. Oh, fuck. And then no too far. Really? That, he, that doesn't punish? Damn. Oh, here you go with the armor there. Wow, I guess. Oh, that was sick. Uh, do I didn't get the juggle. Here we go to Lensenge Kie. Lensenge Ku. Oh, Sashi Gemasu. Oh, and here we go to Forest again. For Takani tried to get that freaking. Uh, command grab, but RX was just the the, the what's called the um, reaction or just to go and that should do though. Good stuff from Takai. I'm not gonna say his defense was definitely solid. I'm not gonna lie, that was really really nicely done. Ooh, whoa 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 whoa! Careful there. I think there's a little bit of lag on their part, probably. Not quite sure. I hope it's on my end because nah, that's not possible. Okay, anyways, here we go back to the neutral and RX wants that kill. Goes for the TP, but Takarin just too good on the reactions. Arbiter. Don't arbiter me. Here we go to jump in. Ah, RX still has yet to really get an opening right there. Gonna get killed for it for the jump in. Takarin bearing his teeth, definitely showing that he is no slouch and not going out without a big, big fight. So tell this spins out. Two, two matches of peace. RX wants it. Ah, uh, gets jumped on though. Ah, uh, no entire. Ah, that take pressure man from Takani is definitely harassing, harassing. Oh, RX, I uh, rainwater again. Uh, rainwater again. Ah, uh, no, that was an unfortunate jump in. And Takani gonna get the axle bumper loop. Yeah, this is gonna kill. Good stuff from Takarin. And just like this, Takarin on set point this time around. What is Arx gonna do? What is he gonna do? Arbiter, no one home. Oh lord. Ah, oh, that clash though. Okay, finally Arx gets the kill. Gets the hit. Not the kill though, but. Oh lord. Ooh, that was close. Oh, okay, he goes for the empty load this time around. Not the. Oh! Ah, he's gonna get the. Is that. A oh, yeah. Here we go, Nostrovia. You're gonna get cursed. I'm gonna curse you. What is the mix? Oh, that's Jimmy. 
And he's gonna get the kill with the juggle. Good stuff. We are going on to the final round of the final match. This is what the third time it's happened. Whoa. Please don't. Please don't desync. Please don't desync. What the hell? Anyways, we're going to Arbiter. Oh! Rx getting the hell out of the corner using the TP. Air to air, no air to air, no air to air. Get back to the neutral. Yeah, too far to get that snail though. Nice Arbiter, man. Ah, this can go really either way, man. And here we go with Karasukun forcing. Ooh, they're going to pop the burst. Oh, no. He had to... Okay. Rx does have... Yeah, did pop his burst. If he gets opened up by one combo, it's over. Wow, that Arbiter was so cheeky. That Arbiter was so cheeky. It was so cheeky. Oh, and the rewater. And the... No. No. Ah. No. Pentakani eliminates our next battle. Battle. So Zeej versus Akihira. Akihira versus Zeej. Japan versus Singapore. Who is uh, the best Nagoriki player? They even have their color inverted. The the white coat versus black coat. That's not even black. It's grayish, I guess. That's not really inverted. Anyway, here we go. You better believe. Oh, and here we go. The four S Zeej forced to pop the burst. And here we go, Akira, man. Both players just playing that neutral game. Game with the 4HS. You might, you guys might think that, ah, Nagoriki boring, Nagoriki and this pressure, but it's very, very fun watching two Nagoriki players play because they have to play neutral. They're forced to play neutral against each other. It's one of these rare matches where uh, Nagoriki won't just try to rush you down immediately. Anyways, here we go with Azich, pop the burst, and uh, pop the, the, uh, the overdrive. And first round goes to Akira. Let's see how this spins out. We're going to jump in, but nobody home. Azich catching that back dash though. Woo! And Akira popping the Beyblade. Ah, uh, catches the back dash as well, gets the juggle. Goes for the save jump. Into the Washure Yuki. The Forgotten Snow. Kaboom! Get out of here. Again, okay, here we go. Oh, good lord. Oh, I tried to grab. The grabber got grabbed. Again, okay, here, here we go with the pressure. Zich definitely wanting to bring, make a comeback. Oh, almost got hit by. Oh! And Zeej got the golden burst. But it's gonna be the mix again with the Beyblade. Okay, ah. Uh, ah, uh, too far. Uh, careful your blood blood gauge. Ah, uh, and gets hit by the standing HS. Good stuff from both. Akira does take the first match, though. No? Okie okay, dokie, okay. it's definitely not over till it's over, but. Yeah. Zeej still has a long way to go. And. Yeah, even longer now that he lost the first match. Okay, anyways, here we go with uh, the combos right there. Akira relentless using the Beyblade. Nice backdash from Aziz. Could get through the close S of uh, Akira and manage to get the back throw for uh, side switch. And finally, uh, managed to get the Wasuriki for the hard knockdown. Nice. Reaction grab right there from Akira though. Gotta get the wall break as well. Zeech just has one bar but no burst and gets entired unfortunately. Good stuff from Akira. First round of the second match goes to Akira. Oh good lord, no backdash here sir. Ah lord and backdashes. Back uh, backdashes. <laughs> Beyblade clashes with a standing HS. Okay, got the opening. Yeah, definitely not overextending. You can see both of them actually taking their time. Okay, Zeech getting you all break. Oh, Lord. Oh, and that blue RC. Oh, and that backdash again from Zeech, man. <laughs> the master of the backdash. Never have I seen somebody backdash as much as Zeech. Again with the concepts, man. Okay, and here we go. Akira does have the advantage. 
Well, the advantage uh, life voice that is. Wow, that Beyblade punish on the... Oh, Lord, I'm too quick on you. Ah, oh, you got the grab. Oh, the grab, I got grab. Oh, Lord, you hate to see it. Is this gonna kill? No. No, this is gonna... Mm. Yeah, kill. Kill, 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 yeah. Good luck! Z bringing it back? It's not over. It's not over till it's over. You gotta believe. You best believe. Okay, Z, bring it, it back ever so slightly. Very nice grab right there. Again with the uh, the command grab, man. Good lord. Oh, you're going to jump in from Akira. No entire, but still. Zeej manages to get a counter hit out of the Abare. Nice grab from Akira. Manages to beat the the, 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 the grab. Through the shim, he's gonna get the wall break. Wow. <laughs> the layers. Both players definitely... <laughs> Both players, they're so susceptible to shimmies. They're, they've, they've been shimmying each other for like the past freaking two minutes or so. And there you go. Very nice check right there from Zeej. Prevents Akira from potentially going for a grab. And Zeej with the OTG gonna get the grab again. Goes for the grab and he's gonna get the kill. Damn! Holy shit! Zeej on point, man. Just one more and Zeej actually manages to... Uh, get through one other one one other uh, of his own demon, man. That's crazy. Very nice grab right there from Zaid. I guess the hit with the forest. No entire again. Nice Beyblade from Zaid. And here we go back to the corner. And Zeej manages to take it with the 2S. For HS, we are on set point. Let's see how this pans out. As each catching the back dash with the stand, the closest man. Oh, and you with the DP. Good luck. Zeej on point, yo. Oh, and he gets the 2 just got it. Not over. Not over. Oh. He catches a button push right here, and just like this, each takes it. Exactly. <laughs> it's working very good for you so far, I'm not gonna lie. Here we go with the next battle, Tsuzura versus Takarin. Let's see how this spins out. Ah, and Tsuzura fell into, uh, unfortunately, couldn't quite get the juggle with uh, the uh, deck card there. He's grabbed and put back in the corner. Yeah, you can see Tsuda trying to get out of the corner, but then he's saying, nope, <laughs> you're going straight back into it. Just look at the damage, eh? Holy freaking lord. No entire... Uh, again with the jump in using the overhead. Good stuff from both players, though. And uh, uh, Takani takes the first around. Thank you very much for the follow, Semi. Welcome to the bro, just Good, just defend. Just block right there. Just defend from, uh, uh, from uh, Takani. That being said, here we go with the bad meteor from Takarin. Gets grabbed himself. Here we go with the resets, man. The resets are real. Ah, oh, good lord. And is I gonna get a lot of damage right there? Is it gonna kill it? Eh? <laughs> the damage on the super is crazy, man. And here we go with the jump in from Suzuda forces Takani to pop the burst. And good lord, that was crazy, man. Good stuff from Takari manages to get the two HS. Ah, here we go with the overhead. Oh lord, no, you're staying in the corner. Go for the quick dust. Roman cancel. This is gonna do a lot of damage. Not gonna kill, but very close to it. So it's the mix. Uh, it goes for the empty low, but no, Takarin on point. Why they buff the laser is still beyond the Emmy too. Oh no, nice burst. We just needs one hit. Oh no, that sword throw was a little bit bad. Oh, gets it by the snail, and this should do. Good stuff from Takarin takes the first match very convincingly. Instead of reducing motor bo boat, yeah, I know, right? Motor boat. <laughs> Good lord. 
Okay, here we go with uh, the neutral play right there to do that catches the Takarin with the sword throw. Oh lord! Very nice BRC right there from Suzura. Failed to bait the burst though, but it's still okay. It's still his turn. Ah, but Takarin taking his turn back. <laughs> Suzura not afraid. Oh, gets the bait on the freaking. Take a dip. No, drops it. Still okay. Still has the corner pressure. And gets the kill with the 2k. Both opponents dashing right at the start of the match, it's so funny. They both have like one of the best neutral in the game. <laughs> and they both like rush to each other. It's so fun. Okay, anyways, here we go, the wall break. Takarin in. And the lead gets a kill with a perfect with the 2 HS. Suzura definitely in dire straits right now. Uh, has a little bit of a problem to adjust himself, I get. Oh, no, he has a side switch. I don't think he wanted this. Well, or maybe he just wanted to get uh, damage rather than positioning, I guess. Oh, here we go, the coolest S, man. Look at him getting the grab. That goes for quick dust, for extension combo. Kinds of drops it, I guess. Ah, and Suzura just... Pursuing his opponent using the uh, the, the overhead of uh, the Ram with all. He's not an overhead anymore, but I don't think so. Here we go, 2 HS counter hit. Ah, Suzura going with the Ram Slam, trying to catch his opponent off guard. And Takarin finding the opening with Snail, Roman Cancel, and Kill. Up 2 to 0. What is Suzura gonna do? Oh, again, here we go, Tsuda forcing the burst on his opponent. <laughs> and Tsuda with that Kai tech, running from one corner to the other just to grab the opponent. Oh no, badly timed grab. Very nice air rubber there from Zagaimo. Ah, I guess the counter hit with the 2HS counter hit. Ah, this is gonna do a lot of damage. Not gonna kill. Ah, and gets the burst. Using the 2HS. That was sick. We go with Rainwater, start of the round. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. What the hell is going on? Sorry, sorry, sorry. For some reason, I, I pressed the uh, replay. I have no idea why. Anyways, here we go with. Takarin taking it with the perfect, but this time around I'm gonna be able to battle Kohide versus Daru, you know, this is the winner's final. Both players have fought against each other countless amount of times. Both players have won against each other countless amount of times. So let's see how this time around with the new patch, the new changes, how everybody's going to fare against everybody. Very nice block right there from Kohide. Ah, gets it by the 6 speed Lord, and Daru no managed to get the burst from... Kohide goes for the ah uh, the pressure the corner pressure. I uh, wanted to get that knockdown though. Oh good lord! Goes for the wall splat tick once more. Kohide on point with the guard though. Oh lord! And the two S counter hit man that did a lot of damage. Good stuff from Darwin who takes the first round. Okay, and here we go again with the six P man from Kohide. Wow, and that juggle from Daurino is gonna get the overdrive into the hard knockdown. What is gonna be the mix? He goes for a regular over into the quick dust for a perfect. That was a extremely, extremely quick first round. Let's see if Koid is gonna be able to uh, make a comeback. We shall see. Very nice to see right there. Manages to get the knockdown. Damn, that's 6p, man. I need to use the 6p more often. Here we go with the grab from Kohide. He's gonna get the... Another grab. Ah, I tried to go for a third one, though. Very nice backdash, man. Ooh! 2d counter. You hit, you see it. 
Ah, I knew with the yeah, we did back dashing uh, way too many times. Goes for the kick flip. Is he gonna get the kill? Yes, he will. Yeah, this is gonna go. Good stuff from Kohita gets the kill. Okay, and on with uh, the sultry performance. Oh, Lord, and Kohita gets the golden burst. I uh, tried to get... Oh, it's okay. He got the Nasante counter. This is going to do a lot of damage. Especially since uh, Daruno had a, a very, very high risk gauge right there. Which added to uh, the amount of damage he did. And you can see uh, Daruno sniffing for them backdashes. Knows that Kohide loves to backdash all the time. <laughs> wow. I uh, can't quite get anything really substantial out of it. Out of the... Uh, except from the positive bonus. No, entire... Oh, Lord. Oh, no. Ooh, oh, that was so close. Oh, no. He even got the burst. Kohide manages to take this one. And puts one on the board. That was sick. Good stuff from Kohide. Definitely not out of it yet. Okie dokie. Breads and cookie. See how this turns out? With the air to air. Nice block from Daru. Oh, Lord. And that over counter hit. Did a lot of damage again with the over. It goes for the re jump into the grab. Ah, look at the damage. Good stuff from Daru. We're gonna get the hard knockdown. Positive bonus. Okay, good stuff. Nice blocks from. <gasps> I think he's okay. Yeah, he's okay. Good stuff from Daru. You know, very nice patience. Okay, nice everywhere for Daru. You know, no enter. No enter on the over right there from Goide. And here we go with the wall splat. Oh, again, man, with the Sultry, it's been. Woo! That golden burst. And. That is going to be enough. Darino takes the third match. What is Koide going to do? Oh. Poor Koide dashes straight into the hover of Daru. Here you go to grab and he goes for the re-jump. Nice damage. And here we go to close S counter hit. Oh lord! Oh wow, that was sick. The standing is and Daru waking up with the with the overdrive. Obviously, he had two bars, and here we are. We are on set point. Oh, here we go, Lord. That Nasante counter did a lot of damage. Nice damage right there, Franco. You're gonna get the positive bonus. Wow, that was punished too. Ah, damn it, Daru, you know, not afraid to pop that freaking standing P, but this is going to be enough for the kill. Koide definitely needs oh, just one more in order to, uh, yeah, to set things straight, if I might say. Woo. Oh, Lord, and that 2D counter it. Daru, you know, and our straights even managed to bait the burst of Daru. This is bad for Daru. Very, very bad. Oh, Lord. No, Nasante. Oh, Lord, and the golden burst. Oh, here we go! Mr. Koide, I'm gonna get the kill! Good stuff from Koide! Puts one on the board! We have a match, ladies and gentlemen. One round apiece, one match apiece. Is Koide gonna do it? Is he gonna be able to send our in the losers? We shall see! Nice interrupt right there again with the 2D counter hit, man. Good stuff. Oh, get the golden burst! The golden boy! Oh, lord, look at the damage! Koide loves that golden burst, man. It's crazy. Okay, what's well, gonna be the schmix? Goes for a quick dust. Nice, duty. Gonna get the kill with the OTG. And Koide on the verge of sending Daru and the losers. What is gonna happen? What is happening? Oh, and the super stroke. Good lord. The golden boy Koide, exactly. Golden boy. <laughs> Golden Boy Kohide, that's his real name. But that being said, here we go. Kohide is in limbo right now. Very nice backdash right there from Kohide. That's for the kick flip. And Daru, man, with the reaction grabs. He's gonna get the kill. Good stuff. <laughs> Golden Boy Kohide, exactly. <laughs> Golden Boy. Ah, nice interrupt right there from Daru. Gonna go for the re jump. 
Ah, oh, Kohide man, he's afraid of. Yeah. Oh, he's got the golden bears. Golden boy, Kohide. Ah, yeah, but he doesn't have any resources anymore. Oh, catches the bag. That's from Darino, though. Gets the juggle. Gets the juggle. Gonna get the wall break. Golden boy, Kohide. Oh, okay, flip. Oh, no, it's all tree performance. Woo! Woo! Oh! Oh, no, no, one too many in the sound saves. Uh, oh, that's not he could have got it. He could have got the kill. Oh! Oh, no! Oh, my God, he didn't send Zari. No, 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 Holy shit! Okay, next match, loser semifinal, Zed versus Takarin. Who is going to take it? And Takarin is definitely not from South Korea, by the way. Uh, let me change the flag. <laughs> Where is it? Here we go, that's better. Okay. So, Zed, Singapore versus Takarin. South Korea. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, Japan. And yeah, just for a uh, reminder, Zed absolutely hates this matchup as well. He absolutely hates the uh, the 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 asshole matchup. So let's see if he manages to overcome this this um, this demon of his. We shall see. It's not out of, of the rim, a realm of possibility for him to win. To win. So we'll see. We'll see. Good lord, that was so sick. Okay, and back to neutral. Ah, uh, danger. Yeah, may maybe he wants Takani to be afflicted by by this. Ah, and here we go, the wake up DP, the wake up reversal from Takarin. Good damage right there. Ooh, that was close. Oh no, still gets hit by it. Okay, back to neutral, and Aziz gets scooped by D2 HS. This is unfortunate. Okay, first round, definitely not over till it's over. Wow. Back to neutral. Here we go, the standing P. Oh, and the 2H has counter it, man. You hate to see it. I wonder what you can do when you're in Nagori in this matchup. Like, seriously, it seems so freaking hard. Oh, here we go, the jump in. I guess D hit with D2, D counter it. Good use of the RC right there from Takarin. Gonna get A. Side switch. Don't feel pity for Nago play. <laughs> I kind of do sometimes, like especially in this patch. Especially in this patch, because I feel like Nago Yuki is actually in a good place now. When I say good place, I mean he's not like completely brain dead overpowered. He's actually strong, but with flaws, which is what uh, every video game should uh, be aiming for their character while fighting him. I mean. And I feel like, uh, yeah, Nagoyuki is in a good place right now. As in, not too overpowered, then decently strong, like very strong even. But uh, it, it's it's like, it's 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 fair strength and fair strength. Yeah, it's just fair strength, basically. The previous patch was bullshit, though. Previous patch, Nagoyuki was completely broken, in my in my opinion. In this one, he has flaws. Like, if, if he's like, if he, if he pops, like, if he blood pops, it's like pretty much over for him. And if he's over like two bars of blood, then he takes a lot of damage, which is fair in my opinion. No, I, I feel like current patch from Nagori Yuki, I really like him. I feel like he's he's fair. Now what I don't like <laughs> in this patch. <laughs> what I don't like in this patch is uh I don't like well of course happy chaos, as always. I don't like Mei either. I feel like Mei is extremely strong in this patch. And uh that's about it, I guess. Nah, I don't like Gold Lewis either. I feel like is he is he still a bullshit character? But I, I feel like uh, the fact that I hate Baikin as well. <laughs> but Baikin, you know what? You know what? Baikin, I feel like I'm biased because Baikin versus Eno is like it's cancer. <laughs> Baikin is probably one of it's not the worst matchup for Eno, but it's, it's really, 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 really a bad matchup for for Eno. But uh, I, I don't I, I I like Baikin, but I don't like fighting Baikin as you know. But I feel like Baikin is in, in a good place right now. I don't feel like she's like over, like super overpowered. It's just a horrible matchup when you're Eno against Baikin. That's what I feel. But yeah, no, I feel like she's in a good place as well. She's pretty strong too. But yeah, I was nodding all, along too. <laughs> yeah, I didn't say that she's overpowered. I still that I said that I I I hate fighting her. It's not the same thing. 
It's not. I, I don't feel like she's uh, like broken or anything. I just feel she's like extremely annoying to fight against when you're Eno. That's really all. I, that's my opinion on the matter. You know, so don't worry. It's not. I'm not saying like she's uh, she's broken or anything. But yeah, for me, like the the top tiers of this patch are, and you you guys are probably not gonna agree with me because uh, you probably have like the uh, the vision of the West. <laughs> you don't really like play the Japanese players, but uh, so but for me it would be May, Chip, uh, Happy Chaos, um, May Chip Happy Chaos, and May Chip Happy Chaos. I think the three of them are like top tier right now, personally. They, I really think they are. And Tagarin up to matches, by the way. But I don't. I feel like Nagoriyuki, like he went down a notch. He, he's down, like he's not top tier anymore. He's like probably A grade compared to S grade, which are like uh, the top tiers I referred to like previously. I really feel like Mei is very strong in this match, extremely strong. And uh, and that's about it. Anyways, here we go back to the match. Oh, good lord! In the rainwater, but Zeech not biting. Zeech definitely in dire street right there. Needs to do something, but doesn't really know what. Ah, tried to punish it. Oh, almost got hit by the actual bomber. We go with Zeech using the bar to extend. Not gonna be enough to kill though. The best character in the tier is Sistian Casino. Oh, I am so far from that. I am so far from that. <laughs> I am like average to... I think I'm a, I'm average to decent player, but I sure as hell am not a top tier player at all. <laughs> I wish I was though. For the amount of time that I invest in the game, yeah, I wish I definitely was, but... Now, I, I, I don't think I'm trash either, I just feel I'm average to decent. Like, I don't feel like I'm any... Wow! He's got the burst bait! Here we go with the bite again! And he goes for the ham! Ham slam! Oh, and here we go with the far HS! Finally, Zeech! Finally, Zeech! Putting one on the board! It's the beginning, guys! It's the beginning of the end! Here we go, Zeech is fighting his demon! He's gonna win against his demon! Okay, who believes in Zeech? Give him your power! Give him your... Give him your energy, man! Good lord! You're good, Linsen Geki, man. Linsen Geki, hell. Oh, good lord. Ah, no. Entire right there. Very nice XP right there. Ah, too far. I believe in Snago. I believe in Zeech. I definitely believe in Zeech. Oh, lord. Oh. Oh, and he got the hit on the freaking follow up of the Linsen Geki. He's gonna get the wall break. Isn't he a little bit far? Oh, okay. He just wants the. Good shit. Toujours pas déçu, pas de gameplay de Kem. Ah, je suis grave déçu, nice. Je kifferais avoir le gameplay de Kemi, mais il, il, elle se fait grave attendre, mon pote. Ah, je kifferais tellement l'avoir. Giving him my Doomer energy. Ah, but here we go with the world. Ah, are we gonna see the world? One dream. I don't even know what he says. Ah, what is gonna be the mix? Ah, too far. Uh, 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 and what is gonna be the kill? Oh no, and the 2H for the kill! Oh, Takarian on match point, what is gonna happen? Oh no, and here we go with Zeech popping the freaking DP. Ah, oh, very nice use of the clone. Couldn't quite get the extension. Je vais jouer Julie perso. Ah, moi j'aime beaucoup Julie aussi, hein. Tu vois, j'ai tellement joué pendant la bêta que moi aussi je me demande si. Je vais pas genre la semer ou autre tu vois, durant, durant le vrai jeu. Et m'aîner jusqu'à mi. Mais Julie elle est super marrante à jouer mon pote. Elle est super drôle. Donc je, je te. Je puis soit. Je puis soit carrément. Hein. Here we go with the bomb oh no and the overhead. Ah and this should not do actually. Je la joue sur le 5. Ah bah nickel, nickel. Ah oh, oh here we go the blood the, the gold burst Good lord Oh no Zeech! Zeech, the whip! The whip, Zeech, why did you do? No! <laughs> I kind of scream like an idiot, so my bad if uh, if I, I, I like, uh, hurt your ears or anything. Anyways, here we go, this is the loser's final! Daru Eno versus Takarin, let's go! Takarin, the pride of the Brojo Cup. <laughs> Probably the member of the Brojo Cup who has won the most uh, in this tournament. 
So let's see how this spins out. Very nice switch chest counter hit right there from Takarin. Gonna get the extended combo. Very nice intro. Oh, he's gonna get the wall. <laughs> the burst. The burst on Daru Sensei. It's gonna do a lot of damage. Good stuff from Takarin. Takes the first round extremely convincingly. Let's see how this spins out. No punish on the stroke. Oh, and Takarin caught sleeping right there. Finally pops the burst. Good lord. Oh, here we go. The rainwater. Ah, very nice stand. Oh, no, and the Psalter performance. Nice reaction from Takanin for the punish. Oh, goes for the jumping. Ooh, HS. Here we go with the HS counter hit. This is going to do a lot of damage, guys. Look at this. Look at this. This is going to kill, by the way. This is going to kill. Nice. Merci beaucoup pour le sub, bro. Tu fais extrêmement plaisir. Just like this, Takanin actually takes the first match off of Daru Eno, man. You guys who think that in Japan, like, only the usual suspects are the great players, you should definitely take more interest in watching the lower, the, the smaller tournaments. You have very, very strong players in them as well, such as, uh, well, Takanin Sun is definitely part of this, even if he just got his ass whooped right now. <laughs> but you know what? Commentators curse, so it is what it is. That being said, here we go with Takanin. Let's see how this pans out. Good stuff from Takani. Gonna get the OTG. Oh lord! And Darino, man, not afraid. Forces Takani to pop the burst. And Takani gonna get the one world. The world. The world is my oyster. And here we go with the Axel Bomber for some more damage. Oh, and the blue. Ah, oh, the blue Roman cancel. Ah, uh, you're in limbo. Oh, that was so cheeky. Oh, and Takani manages to take the first round of the second match as well. Uh, actually, the third round of the second match. Oh, here we go with the air to air. Very nice XP right there from Takani. That would have been death probably. Nice interrupt. A bar. The count. Oh, Lord. Andy re jump from Darino to blow that. OS from Takani. Ah, uh, Darino getting the Fortissimo. Ah, and he's got a burst. And this is gonna be the dead. Good stuff from Ta from Darino. Takes uh, the second match this time around. Is Takarin gonna be able to contain this beast that is Darino? We shall see. Let's see how this pans out. Ah. Oh. Takarin sticking with, oh yeah, obviously with Axel. I don't see why he wouldn't. Oh wow, that did a lot of damage right there. Here we go, the two HS counter hit. Gonna get the juggle. Wow, that does a ton of damage, by the way. Oh, catches the stroke. One too many strokes. Ah, and here we go. Not over till it's over. Here we go to Forest. Oh, Lord! Oh, and that air to air in favor of Darino with the counter hit. Ah, uh, Lord. Okay, Takarin out of misery. Very nice stuff from Takarin. Ah, here we go with the standing P. Je suis surpris, il n'y a pas de crack. Ouais, t'as vu, c'est cool, hein, ça fait plaisir. Je ne veux pas me plaindre. <laughs> Perso, je ne veux pas me plaindre. Takarin searching for that last hit for the kill and gets it with the Lin Sengeki. Takarin in the lead right now. Oh, what? What was that? That was definitely an input error. Ah, here we go with... Darino going completely ham with the mixes. Goes for the re-jump. Into the... Fully charged dust for the wall break. Woo! Very nice conversion station right there from Takarin. Gonna get the... Uh. Wow, and Takarin getting through the note. Ah, oh, lord. No! What was that? But it's still okay. Takarin still in the lead. Ah, nice to hit counter hit right there. And the Lensengeki to catch ah, the hover from Naru. With the Lensengeki again. Lensengeki. We go to Standing P. Very nice check right there from Takarin. Nice entire. And the freaking that is sick! 
That was sick! That fake MT low for the perfect by Takani takes the lead 2 to 1! That was sick! Good lord, this is going in the uh... This is definitely going in the, the highlights. Here we go to counter it. Ah, Darino not out of it yet though. Oh lord! One home. Here we go with Takani. Ah, I guess the rainwater forces the burst. Ah, catches the stroke. No, not the stroke, the sultry performance. That being said, Darino is going to be in prime position to apply pressure. Here you can see yeah, Takani trying to get out of here. And catches the jump attempt, and this is going to be kill and death. Darino not out of it yet. Ah, oh, oh, Lord. That is crazy. Thank you very much for this. The cheer, Yemen Salaki. Much appreciated. Here we go, the rainwater. Uh, goes for the. Oh, uh, no. Oh, this is a drop. Oh, and here we go. Daru committing to the stroke. Gets hit by Takarin. And again with the perfect for Takarin. Let's see how this spins out. Oh, and the 2H just counter it. Darino in Dire Straits. What is he gonna do? Hello, Mother Humper. Good lord. And that pressure is endless. Darino definitely in Dire Straits. What is he gonna do? Dire Eno. It's Darino, but Dire. Ah, uh, lord, yeah, but still, it's not over. Not over. Not over. Here you go. Takani forced to pop the burst. Gonna get the world. Ah, he's gonna get the side switch. We go with uh, the rainwater sail. But he's gonna be. Oh, Lord, you're with the stroke, man. I'm gonna stroke your life. Oh, Lord. Oh, and that's standing P, man. Uh, Darino, 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 what he's gonna do? What he's gonna do? Oh, no, no, he's gonna go. No. What is it? Oh, this is so. No, Darino gets. Baited to do the Sultry performance from a grand final Kohide on the winner's side. Takarin on the loser's side. If Takarin wants to win this tournament, he needs to win two matches in a row. Okay, anyways, I'm gonna get some water. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. And the first round goes to Kohide, actually. Let's see how this spins out. Ah, this one's a good, one. good lord. I, uh, I yelled way too much like <laughs> the previous round. My throat is in shambles right now. Okay, you guys are. Okay, here we go. So. We are back on track and the pressure is endless for Kohide, man. Manages to take the first match extremely strong. And Kohide is not from Korea, by the way. Kohide is from Japan. Yes, yes, yes. Need to arrange this flag. And and here we go with the kick flip right there from Kohide, and the pressure is relentless. Okie dokie. Okay, I'm good. That's okay, so. Okay, so Kohide with the uh, corner pressure. Here we go, open the Sakarin up with the counter hit. He's gonna get the Ventania for the for the wall break and also the hard knockdown. Let's see how this spins out. Ooh, Lord. Okay, here we go with the 2HS. Into the Nsengeki and Takarin definitely has a hard time trying to contain this freaking tornado that is going in. Man. That goes for the, the world. Oh, did he get it? He did get it! That confirmed was sick. No! 
Why? No! It's Akari! That's so unfortunate. Cool. He did take the second friggin' match as well. Oh, good lord. That is so unfortunate. Good lord. Oh, get Takami. This is a set point, right? I think. Not quite true, actually. Anyway, go. Ah, Takami managed to bait that golden burst, though. But. Ah, good lord. Again, here we go with uh, the pressure. The pressure's real. And here we go with the counter at 2D, man. You hate to see it. Koki definitely looking very good right now. Can smell the victory. <laughs> definitely can smell it. Ah, and here we go with the standing. Ah, S, and this is gonna be death right there with the RC extensions. I think we're on tournament point. I hope I counted correctly. I think it's the case. We go to 2K2D though from Takarin. Definitely does not want to go out of this tournament without a final fight. I oh, almost got the wall bounce, but still managed to get a reset, which is actually better than what he first intended. Gets hit by the kickflip though. Side switch. Oh lord. And here we go with the freaking crust under from Kohide, man. Kohide probably gonna go. Thank you very much for the follow, Neptune Alien, and welcome to the Brojos. Kuid is a monster when he wants to put. Oh man, Kuid is a, a yeah an offense monster, man. He's he has like he doesn't have the best defense in the business, but he definitely has one of the best offense. Yeah, definitely. Anyways, here we go with the wall break and going down the verge of taking this tournament. I think. Oh, okay, but Takari not going out without a fight. Definitely not. And here we go with the tick pressure right there from Kohide. Good lord. Here we go the far S. Oh, good lord. Oh, finally Kohide gets the hit with the two S counter hit. Oh, very nice just defend right there from Takarin. I tried to bait the gold burst, yeah, definitely. <laughs> oh, but no, this is bad. This is death, actually. And just like this. Wait, wait, did I count correctly? We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Give me one second. And... Yeah, just...